Hey everyone, welcome back to Pocket Coaching. Now, some of you guys haven't seen us do this before, so welcome. We know you're new to our community, come and come through from the summit. It's fantastic to welcome you. Pocket Coaching is where we just jump on for a couple of minutes each week just to give you some insight, something to think about, a little bit provocative. Maybe you haven't thought about it before. So we're just going to have a conversation. It's really informal. We just want to stay connected with you and have a really good time. Katie. Yeah, love it. Welcome back. So, so happy to have everyone new here. Uh, there, there's something that's been on my mind that I really want to talk about today. And it's something that's come up a lot as we did some of these calls with you guys in our community um, post summit to, to help you guys kind of move on to the next step. And the, the theme that kept coming up was around symptoms. A lot mm. of you guys are experiencing symptoms in your body. And what I've been hearing again and again is, well, I, I'm fatigued. Like, I'm just tired because I live a busy life, or I just have these aches and pains because that's a part of getting older. Or my doctor said everyone lives with GI issues. And I just want to take a second here and say, none of that is accurate. That is not any kind of symptom is not normal. Like it might be normal in the sense that a lot of people experience it, but it's not normal to our species. Yeah. So it's common, but not normal. We, you know, let's, let's remember what we're supposed to have as far as health is concerned. Like you, you don't get born uh, the vast majority. Of course, there's going to be some cases and let's not go into, into sad stories today, but like, you, you're born thriving, like your body is optimized, you're young and youthful. And you, as you grow up, you, being healthy is normal. Having the energy is normal. Having a symptom that is there for five minutes and then you get rid of it is normal. And we forget that that's what we're allowed to have. And we, and obviously everything that I'm saying here applies to our pets as well. When, they, when they're puppies and kittens, they have all these fantastic abilities. And then we buy into this lie and I really do want to say that we buy into it because it's not it we don't we have a choice to believe what we're whatever you want to believe okay and it's no secret that I believe that we have the capacity and the freedom and the right to have health and fullness of it and be vital and energized and loving life every single day that you live right and so you you give that you give away your um your sovereignty if you like your you abdicate that right that you have when you buy into the lie that you decline as you get older that these things are normal they're to be expected you just have to live with them there's nothing you can do about it it's part of getting being alive and i say no to all of that stuff and so this is what you're saying katie that you the, on the human side the parent side we're doing the same thing as accepting the same lies with with our pets and let's just make sure there's a strong difference between common and normal. Normal is healthy and thriving and optimized and amazing. Common is deteriorating, suffering from symptoms. And let's just dive into symptoms for a second, because what is a symptom for you, Katie? A symptom is a literally that, right? It's a symptom of something else going on, but it can show up anywhere in the body. So it can be GI symptoms, it could be aches and pains, it could be brain fog, it could be fatigue, it could be stripes and spots on your fingernails. Like it's literally anything that's a symptom of something else, right? Something else is causing it, right? You don't just randomly for absolutely no reason start throwing up. There's, there's a reason why, right? So even if it becomes common for you, you experience it regularly, it's telling us that something else is going on that needs to be looked at. There's something that's out of balance in the body. And yes, as a result, exactly. things aren't functioning the way they're supposed to. Something's broken and you're now feeling or seeing or noticing something that's out of alignment, out of whack. It's painful. It's like, it's wrong. So let's, let's take that as the red flag that it is and say, okay, great. I've got a warning sign. I'm not in the dark here. I'm not ignorant as to what's happening. I might not understand the underlying cause, but I can at least read the signal and say, hey, get my attention. Let's undo that damage. Let's take us back to that place of balance and homeostasis. Absolutely. And I think one of the big problems we run into is that we, we live in our own body. And so we forget sometimes, or, or we don't really realize what our new state is what our new baseline is right it's like that that frog in the water analogy if you put the frog in boiling water it'll jump out but if you slowly crank up the heat it'll stay in there and, and die like essentially that's what's happening to us and so next time next week we're going to give you guys a tool to actually look at 
your normal, look at your baseline and compare that to what should be your normal. So we're going to be sharing that with you guys next week. So stay tuned back at Pocket Coaching. Um, and you guys are going to have access to this exclusive tool. I usually only use this with patients of mine, but we're going to give you guys um, full access to use it. And then we're going to break down how to understand what your results mean for your health. Until then. See you next time.